Hey everybody, Facebook ad results built differently. This is what I really wanna talk about today. You know, I, we are right now in a spot where it is the biggest time of the year to go ahead and make money. Q4 is consistently where everybody comes out of the red. There's a reason it's called Black Friday, and it's because actually that's when everybody gets into the black. Now, whether you're a small business trying to get back everything you lost during the summer, or you're a small agency trying to use this opportunity to catapult your business for next year, this is absolutely a time where confidence and knowledge and support can fundamentally change the rest of your life. Now, I see a lot of folks out there giving a lot of bits of advice and there's all sorts of fun things like, hey, you should test more, you should do all this stuff. But what I'm not seeing is people actually saying, well, I'm gonna hold your hand through all of this and teach you how to do things and show you what I've done before to build seven and eight figure businesses. I don't see people talking about, this is the documentation that we use to increase transparency, accountability, and trust. I don't see people saying, this is the testing model that we use to get incremental data so that we can have directional improvement, whether or not we win that test. We don't need to win every test in order to actually get better at business. And I definitely don't see people saying, this is how you should actually test and why this actually works to get every single element of every single ad to improve your estimated action rate so you can get a better bid in the ecosystem and you can get a better overall page score and overall revenue and profit margin for your business. I also don't pe hear people talking about, this is how we make Facebook easy so that we can improve your business model. And honestly, most of these people that I see talking about stuff, they're selling you pre-recorded things. Do you legitimately think that a pre-recorded video and series of modules that maybe costs a couple hundred bucks or maybe a thousand is going to be what separates you from a million dollars more this year? Do you legitimately think a thousand dollar solution is going to provide you a million dollar result? Are you going to get a 1000x ROAS on education? No. That's fucking ridiculous. But that's a promise that a lot of people make. Sometimes it's a $10,000 result. Like I see businesses, I see people out there coaching with $150 solutions, right? Well, your $150 solution is basically just a dressed up version of Facebook Blueprint that is free, sold by somebody that hasn't ever solved your problem, will never answer your question, will never actually talk to you, and has never actually repeated their results in a sustainable way that they can show you how to do with high confidence. If you're struggling with that stuff, with, with having confidence, with scaling, with stability, with trusting what's happening and being confident and moving forward, let me tell you, the answer isn't gonna come from an agency owner. The answer is not going to come from somebody that has worked in a business and built up one business. And there's a reason for that. Number one, agency owners are good businessmen or businesswomen. They're really good at managing teams. They're really good at project managing you know, and finding solutions. What they're not good at is the actual work. I say this a lot, but for instance, if your iPhone is giving you some trouble, do you think Tim Cook can fix it? The answer is probably no. If you're struggling with your business, do you think the agency owner is the person that's actually gonna be able to help you? How about the 24 year old, 26 year old, underpaid, overworked kid that's never built a seven or eight figure business? Are they gonna be able to help you understand what's going on? The answer to all of this stuff is absolutely not. And then the other side of things, if somebody's seen success for themselves, that's great. I'm all about seeing success for people. As a matter of fact, that's what I try to help folks see. Greater success and less stress. But does the some person that has built one, say, skincare brand or weight loss brand or uh, beauty products or clothing or whatever their niche happens to be, if they've won once, does that mean they can teach you? Or how about the other thousand people buying their pre-recorded stuff? The answer is probably no. And I'll be brutally honest with you. What works for you isn't what's gonna work for the person sitting next to you and isn't gonna work for the person sitting next to them. There are core principles, core truths that we know about how Facebook works. But there's also core principles and truths we know about business development. There's also things we know about project management and making sure that you have a team that's working well together. 
The honest truth is, while we know these core principles, for instance, Facebook, there's been two major changes in the last 10 years. What works five years ago still works today. Despite what any naysayer might say, I got a couple hundred million dollars in revenue and performance that kind of says otherwise. Of course, not my money, client's money, because I've helped dozens of businesses go from seven to eight figures and get to that seven figure mark. Dozens, not one, not two, dozens across many verticals. And there's things that you learn in all of that stuff. So what I'm really trying to get to here is how do we make sure that you're very confident in the result that you're getting? And the honest answer is, if you really want to see success, if you really want to invest in your future and see a, a distinct change, then you need to invest in a solution that isn't designed to just take advantage of you. The honest truth is, a $1,000 course is designed to take advantage of you. Nobody selling a $1,000 course is going to fundamentally change your life. They're also not going to be there to help you when you have questions. And if they offer a community where you can talk to other folks that have never faced your problem, that have never solved, that have never you know, solved these issues a bunch of times, they're not going to be the ones that are going to be able to help you out. They're going to be able to read off a sheet of paper and say, well, this is what we think is going on this week. The honest answer is, though, what well, works hasn't changed in a long, long time. Business development principles have been established for decades. The way that Facebook works has been established for five, eight, six years now. And I know iOS 14 and all of these other things that they're, they're preaching the fear and everything's changed. And the honesty of this, it hasn't. The number one thing that has changed, and I want to take that back, it has. The number one thing that's changed is doing things poorly has a lower and lower return. You're going to struggle more and more and more doing things wrong. But the people that are doing things right are seeing more and more success, even with all of the issues that we're seeing, because they don't rely on cheating the system to see success. If anybody's teaching you a hack, understand that it's because they're not good at their job. There's no such thing as a Facebook hack that works. Not at scale, not for everybody, not in a repeatable fashion, not something that you can rely upon to save time and really be confident moving forward with your future. So what does this all get into? Because of course, right, we're talking about something here. If you want Facebook ads results, built differently. You need to fundamentally change the way that you've probably been taught how to use Facebook. Now, there are a lot of things that people say that are absolutely BS, but are really commonly accepted truths. For instance, interest group targeting. Some people say it's good. Facebook themselves don't even want you to do it. They've been saying that for years. And if you look at the UI, they're steering you away from even being able to possibly limit yourself in that fashion. Creative testing. Everybody says you should test. Do you know how to do it? I talk to agency owners all the time. People with seven, eight figure businesses as their clients. And they test in a way that was best practice for Google 15 years ago. You know what Facebook isn't? Google. 15 years ago. It's not even Google now. And the way that you would do it there, maybe that works, but it's not how you're supposed to do things inside of the Facebook ecosystem because the business models are different. Google or email or Amazon or Pinterest or any of these other search or inventory based platforms, their number one objective is to show you an ad and get you to click on that ad to go to the site and take an accomplishment to accomplish some goal. Amazon wins by being the answer to the question that you have, selling you and getting you the fuck off of Amazon as fast as possible. Google wins by saying you type in a search, you get a result, immediately you get the answer you want and you're off of Google. Facebook's business model is to keep your attention for as long as possible. The average person swipes the height of the Eiffel Tower on a daily basis. Your job is to keep that business model going. And we've known this for years. And there's a reason that all of these hacks fail. Why does cost cap fail? Why do, when you're running ads poorly, why do they seem to die off after three to five days? Why are we chasing all these different lookalikes and they always fail? Why are we running on interest groups and maybe they work at 50 bucks a day, but we try to get to 500, it, they fail miserably. What is it that all of these things have in common? I'll tell you, it's a general disrespect for the customer and for your partner. Let me, let me elaborate on this. Because Facebook's business objective is to keep your attention for as long as possible, 
and provide you with a positive user experience, what we need to do is make sure that our content is something that people want to see. Every ad should look like content is what people say. And the answer is maybe. The more important thing is your ad, when it's shown to somebody, should be something that they receive positively. So if you're not testing to make sure that every single element, your copy, your creative, your headline is something that people receive warmly and positively and have a, and have a you know, positive engagement with where you get brand lift out of it and you get them to click on your site for really cheap and you don't want to take an action that is desirable for you. If you're not doing that at every single element of every ad, then you're basically just playing guesswork of what's the best way I can maybe get a sale out of somebody. Now, when it comes to targeting or cost cap or interest groups or anything else, what you're saying is, well, I can't win with letting Facebook make the decision. So what I'm going to do is force this on a whole bunch of people that probably don't like it. And then can I trick enough of them into buying? And then what happens? What happens every single time? For you playing along the home game, you know the answer. And for those of you that haven't seen this issue, let me tell you. Your ad stops working after three days, five days, seven days. You start, you start buying into nonsense from experts and gurus, the words like ad fatigue, which is, by the way, 100% bullshit. I've been running ads for years. Same ad, same post ID, years, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not a problem. Because I'm respecting the customer and my partner. And that's a big difference. That's a big, big difference. Because it's not about how can you get lucky and then abuse this luck. It's how do you build something that's sustainable, that you can learn from, so that you can rely on it, so you have confidence and stability and you can scale. That all comes from building good ads. If you want good results, you have to build differently. You can't try a bunch of ideas, build them all out, and then hopefully something works. Are you even getting out of the learning phase? Does Facebook even tell you, hey, we're confident this is a sustainable result? Odds are, the answer is probably no. So you need to have these testing models in place. Now, I have used a testing model I call Golden Bear, and I've been using it for years. And we test the branded estimated action rate because Facebook tells us that that's how they run their algorithm. Their algorithm has been built like that since the implementation of the Facebook Pixel, which for what it's worth, I'm spending a million dollars a day before there was a Facebook Pixel. And I'm so happy that we have a conversion campaign now because when I started, we didn't even have those. So getting to the point here, when you're trying to understand how to make this work for somebody, what you need to do is, first off, understand that Facebook knows what people want to see. It can see all of the things that are in your video. It knows all the things that are in your picture. Like it knows that there's an Alvin and the Chipmunks back here, and it knows that like there's a Popsicle thing up here, right? And it, it can read that that says Austin, Texas. It knows that. The AI is strong. And it knows what words you're using. And it knows what people respond positively to. Because they've responded positively to those things before. And they've been on websites with the Facebook pixels tracking all their traffic and taking into account their journey and the metadata of those pages. So if Facebook knows what it is that you want to see, and Facebook is very aware of what type of content people engage with positively, and it knows what they're in the market for and what they're interested in, what sites they're going to, what things they're searching for, and what, and what they're talking about on Messenger. Then your job is to make sure that you give Facebook the best opportunity of presenting that content to somebody that wants to see it. And to also make sure that you're testing to make sure that the content that you do show gives you the best opportunity. Because remember, the average person swipes the height of the Eiffel Tower on a daily basis. So your job is to not kick them off. Right? You don't want to be Google. If you're testing in the same way that you would on display or Google or email, remember, you're testing to try to get an answer out of somebody right away and then get rid of them. Because that's Google's solution. That's Amazon's solution. Honestly, that's email's solution. How do we get somebody to click? How do we solve somebody's question as quickly as possible, get them to click, and get them out of here? That is the antithesis of Facebook's business model. Facebook, you want them to engage. You want them to be happy. And also, Facebook is capable of understanding what the right messaging is for the right person at the right time, which is why retargeting is a luxury problem that most people think you're supposed to do and honestly is one of the biggest liabilities of most of the accounts that I work with. If, 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 you're, not, if you're not driving dozens of conversions a day, retargeting is probably a pretty bad idea for you.
Because Facebook is already doing it for us. And you're like, well, how do we know that? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever been taught to use exclusions in your prospecting? Why do you need to exclude those audiences if Facebook's not already doing it for you? If Facebook wasn't doing the retargeting for you, then you wouldn't need the exclusions because it wouldn't be you trying to control the journey because you're smarter than Facebook. And let me tell you, none of us are. It's a machine designed by thousands of people who are extraordinarily smart looking at the data from millions of websites and billions of users 24 hours a day and microseconds. It's trillions of data points meant to do something that Facebook does better than anything else in the history of humanity. Create intent with an enjoyable experience and a customer journey across multiple platforms. Because remember too, what you see on Instagram and what you do surfing the web and what you see on Facebook is all connected because that pixel is everywhere. So your job as a Facebook marketer, what you can do to build things differently and see better success and results that are sustainable and scalable that give you confidence and reduce your stress so you can see more success is to ultimately understand what about my ads drive the results that I want? How do I best fit Facebook's business model? Because when you disrespect that, we see one thing happening all the time. Now I hinted at this before and we're back to it again. What you see is rising CPMs. Why are my CPMs a hundred bucks? Well, have you bothered to test to try to find all the elements of the ads that people want to see? Or are you just trying to find the right ad and then force it down people's throats with cost cap and interest group and everything basically saying, I'm smarter than all these people. I don't give a damn about my customer and I'm going to try to cheat my business partner, Facebook. And then you're going to complain when it doesn't work. I hope that you're starting to see how some of this stuff comes together. With all that being said, let's get to the end of it here. I've said a lot of things here, but I also really want to help you out. And this is what I do. My why is that when I started, nobody knew how to do any of this stuff because it was brand new. Like I, I was on, I was spending a million dollars a day again before the Facebook pixel was even invented, before we had conversion campaigns. So there was no path forward because nobody knew what to do because these tools were brand new. Because I was there at that time and I was spending that much money and because of sort of my nature of being, you know, somebody that likes to do a lot of testing and has a pretty analytical mind, I ended up working with the Facebook, um, I ended up working with Facebook uh, directly for almost the last decade, working with them on the product and on the engineering team to tell them what we need from Facebook to see success and then also teaching them how to use it so that they could teach other people how to use it. And the biggest point here is some folks sit in the walled garden trying to manage teams and say, this is what we see is working right now. Those folks will then pre-record a whole bunch of, of whatever is working for them, not necessarily in full context, kind of bullshitting the results and try to sell you on that solution. Again, expecting a $150 solution, a $250 a month solution or a thousand dollar course to be what helps you get the next million. I'm the person that's actually been working with Facebook. I'm not the only person. There's a group, the Disruptor Group, which is where the name comes from. And we've been working on these things for years. So you can either try to learn from somebody that doesn't care about you, that won't offer support to you, that doesn't know what they're talking about, that actually operating ads isn't what they're good at in a way that you're expected to get some thousand or 10,000 X ROI. Or you can learn from somebody that's actually been working with Facebook to design things appropriately to see success. Thanks, Kai. I'm so glad. Um, for those of you who can't see, we're, we're, we're live here and, and Sky Paris says, I've been seeing slow but steady improvements the more I've paid attention to your content. Thank you. That's what it's about. Slow and steady, directional improvement. Directional improvement is fundamentally more important than a big win. We don't chase big wins. We move mountains. We don't worry about the pebbles. We're not worried about trying to micromanage every single day. We're setting up a system that allows us to honestly not even need to log in more than half an hour a day, maybe two hours a week. 
And with that, you can manage a million dollars a year easy. That's $2,740 a day. If you want to get to $3,000 a day and have your credit card bill be over a million dollars while you're making money, it's not going to happen because you work harder. It's going to be happening because you work smarter and actually reduce the amount of workload. And that's really what it comes down to, is understanding how to project manage your time, how to appropriately test for things, how to document all of this, and understanding how Facebook fundamentally works. And then how to make sure that you can communicate this in a way that trains your team, that builds trust with your clients, and builds your business so that you have more time to actually do the business development. I'll give you a dirty little secret. Most of the biggest agencies and these fun people on Twitter and Instagram that are super big and famous and all this stuff, let me give you the secret of their success. They signed a client that didn't need them. Bottom line. I know so many people that have been around the business for a decade that are super nice individuals that everybody loves and it'd be great to have a beer with them and all this other stuff. Here's the thing. They're shit at their job, but they're great at signing good clients. The better your business, the less reliant on Facebook ads or any marketing to be successful. The honest truth is, if you have a really good business model, you could do everything wrong on Facebook and probably still make money. Vice versa, if you have a terrible business, no matter what you do marketing-wise, you're probably going to fail. Business model is probably the most fundamental thing that you need to understand and improve upon in a consistent basis to be successful. And it's one of the biggest gaps that almost every expert out there has. They don't know how to design business models. They haven't done it dozens and dozens of times. They don't know how to test for every element. They don't know how to communicate these things in a way that doesn't just get people hype and then take advantage of underworked and poorly trained individuals who are fresh out of college that also never solved this problem before, which is basically every ad agency that I've really ever seen. And believe me, I was a supervisor at Omnicom spending seven figures a day. I was, I've worked with small shops. I've worked with FMPs, Facebook marketing partners, with a lot of different agencies to try to solve them. I've worked client side. I, I, the Rolodex of clients that I've worked with in the seven, eight, nine figure business thing is, I mean, I, I'm not even going to try to drop all the names because I just spent here the next five minutes just running off things. And you're like, there's no way. And like, you know, with this. Yeah, that's just been my career. But that doesn't mean anything more than I've been there and I've done that. Your problems are unique and they're yours. But the solution, the way to think about solving that problem is something I've done. I can almost assure you that have probably faced a similar problem at least half a dozen, maybe a dozen times. I've failed at solving that problem and learned from it probably more times than other folks are ever gonna even have the opportunity of trying to solve. The point here is, if you're interested in learning from me, I would love to help you. Now I do a lot of stuff on YouTube and I, you know my Twitter is popping constantly and of course I love you guys here on Instagram, but I also do have more. What I do have is the Facebook Ads MBA program, which is the number one most comprehensive way of learning Facebook. It's a nine week course. So it's a nine week program with every week there's a new course. There's a community that's attached to it. And the premium version also gets you inside of my Slack group and gets you one-on-one -on -one calls with me every single week throughout the whole program. So the point of this is, Instead of investing 150 bucks, 200 bucks, a thousand dollars in some pre-recorded solution with somebody that doesn't really know what they're talking about, that definitely doesn't give a shit about you, that won't offer a solution so that you can try to get to the next million dollars in your business, which is a completely unrealistic return of a thousand percent. Sorry, a thousand X. Not a thousand percent, a thousand X ROI, which is completely unreasonable. This is something that I try to do with folks where we hold your hand through the whole process. It's me, by the way. I hold your hand through the whole process. You talk with me every week. We have group classes every week. We have one-on-ones every week. Inside of the uh, community, the Slack group, there's also other classes. So you're getting two or three times to talk with me on a weekly basis, walking you through all the fundamentals, answering your questions. And the great side of it is, not only do you get that one-on-one -on -one direct support from me, but there's a community of other people that have been there and done that. I was literally just talking to somebody before this. His name is Alexander. He's a current student. And he signed up about five weeks ago. 
through the documentation that he has, he cold emailed some clients and he's going to go from two clients to 10. He's having to hire other members of the program just so he can maintain delivering good quality product to his clients because he got too busy. He's four or five weeks in. That's not uncommon. Every time there's one or two people that do that. And that's the great thing here is whether it is you want to manage your own business and get to that seven, eight figure mark, whether you're running a small agency and you want to get to that five, 10 clients, you want to stop relying on your sales team and start relying on building up good relationships and scaling your businesses, your clients' businesses so that you don't have to work any harder to make way more money. Or do you want to just learn a skill that can easily translate into a six-figure career right away? This is the type of investment that I think is worth your time. That's why it's called the MBA program. This is direct support for months to walk you through literally everything that you need to understand so that you feel confident and that you see success with repeatable results to answer all of the questions that you have so that you can also teach other people and then a community that you can reach out to where everybody else has done it. If you want to be better than 80, 90% of the people out there, you have to build differently. The sad thing is the way that you build differently is just doing the things that you were supposed to. But most of the experts out there don't listen to that because it doesn't fit their business model. It doesn't do an agency, a, a low integrity agency that's been around for a long time. And believe me, I can run off a list of names and I don't want to throw shit. But the point of it is everybody that's famous talking on stages and doing all that, they're not actually good at their job of growing their businesses. They're really good at getting attention and getting people's trust and inspiring folks. And they're excellent at that. And I love them for it. But they're not the person I would hand the keys over to. So what I want to get down to without trying to get too much into things, because I actually have a call with another student here in one minute, is that um, I'm accepting applications for the MBA program right now. Where there's a regular version and there's a premium version. That premium version not only comes with the whole program, which you, by the way, have access to for life and is updating on a regular basis, but also comes with one-on-ones with me and also comes with a lifetime access to the Slack group, which is in its own right $500 a month. And it's not... You know, something where there's a whole bunch of people talking and like you can ask questions, a whole bunch of other individuals that are all recycling the same bad information. It's me helping you become successful. If that sounds like a solution that you want, DM me. We will make it work for you. This will sell out. I have 15 spots and a calendar full of meetings. So I've expanded the hours. If you want to get in on it, let me know. I'll send you an application and if things work out, we can hop on the call. And if we hop on the call, we'll see if this is the right fit for you. And if it isn't the right fit, I'm not going to try. I'm not even going to let you try to get like, We want to make this work. This is about relationships. If you can't trust me and I don't think that I can help you, I'm going to find a better solution for you. Because the honest truth is my inbox is full. I don't need to take advantage of you to be successful. I want to help you so that we can both make other people successful because that's what this is about. There's a toxic energy inside this community around success and isolation. You don't have to be alone. You can be successful. And that's what I'm here to do. With that being said, I got to hop on a call with a student right now. And we're going to go through some custom solutions for what we're talking about. And I'm super excited. So with that being said, thank you all very much. And I will talk to you later. Bye.